Okay, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, fishing accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So here's a, a session that was not in Montauk. Uh, this is the Western Sound. Uh, this was uh, a few days back. I was fishing with my buddy Peter, uh, who you, I'm sure you know from YouTube, and you also probably saw him in one of the Montauk trips we did. Uh, yeah, wanted to hit up the water, like kind of the, the tail end of summer officially, you know, early September. And we wanted to give it whatever we had to try and get on some action. Uh, we didn't have grand ambitions of this being an, an epic session or anything, but we knew there could be some good fluke around if we were to, you know, target the right structure and the right depths. Additionally, we knew there's some porgies around, so if nothing, we get something on the end of the line. But fortunately, things actually went pretty well. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'll let the footage speak for itself. And again, check out Peter's channel, link in the bio. Uh, and while you're here, please drop a like and a sub if you haven't done so already. And thank you if you have. Let's get to it. Oh, and make no mistake, you better believe we got some fishing accomplished. Ooh. There it is. You know what's crazy is we got more sea bass than sea robins last week. It wasn't even close. Like, I maybe caught like three sea robins all last weekend. It begins. Pork chop central. Oh, I would have kept that one too. <laughs> oh well. There we go. That's maybe a fluke. Yeah, that's a porgy. Little smaller than I'm looking to keep. Took my gulp, you little rascal. Ooh. That's a porgy. I think he's foul hooked. Indeed. So as you can see, it's clearly Porgy Central where we're at. I mean, there is absolutely no shortage of Porgies. Uh, you might also notice I'm fishing a lighter setup. This is one of my old um, St. Croix, one of the ones that I didn't snap in half, though I did at one point snap the tip off this one, and I just moved the tip one uh, guide down. And I wanted to fish some lighter stuff, and this is a lighter rod. My arm's a little tired from that last Montauk trip of just the pure fishing insanity that was there. Uh, so I fish really light, you know, I'm fishing a uh, quarter to no more than half ounce depending on the tide. Um, and I'm switching from bucktails to just straight up jigs and it is just, you know, killing the porgies. It's one after another with some good ones in the mix. Uh, we are working around structure and we're hoping to maybe encounter some fluke or anything else we might find and to varying degrees of success. Nice porgy. Mm, it's nice, but we can still do better. It's probably like a 12 inch fish. Big rock right here. You might want to mark this spot right here for blackfish. Right on big rock under me. Bet those are blackfish I'm marking right now. Yeah, no, you're good. Oh, 
There's a fish. Ah, porgy. Missed that hook set, but we got a little sea bass. I mean, if you saw that video I posted, I was 15 and a little bit of change in about water shallower than this on the other side, so could be a keeper down there. Do we eat any of those sea bass yet? Yeah, I did, uh... Pete's locked up. Sea bass. <laughs> All right, there might be a keeper down there. There's hope. No. <laughs> Not a lot, but there's some <laughs> in about 15 feet of water. Let's try that again. Those sea bass were delicious. You let, you let them with your fluke? Anything I caught that day, we were out. I gave them everything. So we only ate the sea bass the first night. You <laughs> yeah. That's a good porgy. Oh, it's a sea bass. Almost a keeper. I mean, heck, that's maybe. If it were last year, I'd actually give you a measure, but it's probably 14 inches. You know, there was a time where this would have been a keeper, like way, way back. Like there was a point where there was no size limit for those things. Just like sometimes I like the angle, like the higher viewpoint. Yeah. Ooh, that's a fluke. Oh, that was a fluke. Dang, I felt, come back, come back. Definitely a fluke. Had some weight too. I mean, it's hard to know if just a two second hook set. Yeah, that was 100% a fluke. Missed that hook set. Paul. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a porgy. <laughs> it's cool when they get like that black purple. Especially the big ones, really good look on them. Yeah. Got some pull to you. Yeah, if it's not coming in clear, then I'm wasting my time. But yeah. If it's coming in clear, I can still learn something from the bottom of the <laughs> That's a porgy. <laughs> I think for sea robin. Sea robin, alright, that's something new. <laughs> I don't know how you got this before the porgies did, but good for you.
That's a porgy for sure. Easy, easy, easy. So, so those like kind of get clogged a little bit. Too, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. I know like the back roads of even the back roads. I used to do a lot of. Oh, that's a fluke. That's a fluke. Definitely a fluke. I don't think he's big. All right, this is a good move. Maybe not bad. Uh, I'm gonna net him. I don't think so. Eh, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Maybe 17 inches. Good sign, though. And then this rod right here is my old inshore mojo that I snapped the tip off and never claimed a warranty for way, way back. But it, it's holding ups. It was at my parents' house, so I just snagged it while I was there. But I might use this for like drop shotting. So I'll have, oh, that's a fluke. That's a fluke. Is it? I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's a fluke. That's a good fluke. That's a really nice fluke, I think. Dude, yeah, that's my... heck yeah. Mm. <laughs> that might be as big as the ones I got in, my, in Montauk, man. <laughs> Easy keeper. Uh, so happy to be yeah, man, he's not that big, but he's thick. Heck yeah. All right, at least a 2019 keeper. We'll say that much. All right, Peter putting us on the meat. It's gonna just make it official. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's 19, almost just almost one, 19 and a half, 19 and a half. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good for any area, especially in uh, the very end of the summer. Alright, hopefully you got that on camera. Nice keeper fluke, 19 and a half incher. Throw in the cooler. Okay folks, we got that keeper fluke in the boat and I can think of no better way to celebrate as always than our seltzer of the day. So new brand, we're one that we've done for a while. Aha, and this is caffeinated sparkling water with caffeine obviously. Uh, this is citrus and green tea. Nice styling, Let's see how it tastes. Definitely need the caffeine right now. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I need in my life right now. I've been up since like 4.30 in the morning. So yeah, that's a, definitely a nice little pick-me-up. And hopefully this video has been a pick-me-up for you. And if it has been, let's give a little thumbs up if you don't mind. Uh, if you enjoyed so. And subscribe while you're here. Let's see if we can get another fish. Oh man, sea bass. Guess there's some structure down there. Yeah, a little variety. <laughs> Feel good? No way. Maybe a nail biter. I guess we found him. There goes the net. Oh, no. Oh, it's slight. Yeah, you're good. Well, there's smoke, there's fire. That might measure. I mean, it's hard to say. I'm getting a weird angle on him.
Yo! <laughs> that might be a sea robin, I'm not sure. Not sure what that is. Sea robin. Had me going for a second though. Yeah. Jeez. Try that again. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this session. Uh, after that last sea robin, we didn't fish for too much longer. I might have gotten another sea robin, maybe some small porgies. Nothing too substantial, but yeah, good time. Um, this was just a half-day session. I have to give a big shout-out for Peter for putting me on this spot. Uh, it's not too far away from where I live, and it's not a spot I usually fish, but I always like to check out new areas. Additionally, after this, uh, Peter helped me out with modifying my trolling motor to hook up to a different battery. I'm not very mechanically inclined, so it was very helpful for him, for Peter to show me that setup. And I definitely look forward to taking it out in the next video, and I'll be happy to showcase what I am working with now, which should greatly expand the, um, the amount of usage I, I can get out of this trolling motor. Additionally, I have to shout it out to Peter because he hooked me up with the two key uh, decent-sized porgies he kept to go along with my fluke. I actually offered to give him the fluke, but I ended up taking the porgies and making them into porgy patties. Let me know if you're interested in seeing something like that in a catch-clean cook, um, as it's another take on porgies, which I'm quickly learning is a, a very fun fish to mess around with in terms of food for the summer since they're so plentiful. But that's going to do it. Thank you if you made it this far in the video. Uh, if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe, but I know you probably did. And thank you for those of you that have been here since the beginning. Uh, I couldn't have kept this channel up without y'all. Uh, so thank you so much. I'll be out in the water soon. I'll probably start to trickle these videos out a bit more as we're now in the school season, but I will try and keep a presence uh, with maybe some slight exceptions here or there. I got one more Montauk video from August, and I'm hoping to get back out to Montauk for a long weekend at the end of this month. So that's a wrap. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Of course, goodbye from fishing.